Hey, let's go check in with our friend Adina Anderson from Creative Lifestyles with Adina. She was just telling me that she's from Texas. Yeah. Hasn't been on a plane since 1993. <gasps> she's a road tripper, and that's what we're talking about today. Wow. So Summer you destinations. Know your stuff Hi, Adina. Tag. How are you? And this is perfect road trip food. So just yes, it that. is. That's what I did yesterday okay, in the car, too. Right. How are you? Yeah. Good to see you again. I'm good. It's great to see you guys. I'm oh, so glad to be back. Yeah. So good to have you here. What a great topic because we're talking about those summer months where you want to just take a trip and there are so many great options. Yes, definitely, definitely. Well, you know, I'm from Texas. I'm actually from Indiana, but I live in Texas, you know, where that wonderful little hurricane's coming yeah. through. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and there's some great places in Texas to road trip to where there's Paralyn, Texas, there's uh, San Antonio, obviously. Great city. Great, that's where I live now. Yeah. Um, there's Palo Duro, there's uh, Plano, Texas. There's just so much to do there. Like this is Paralyn. They are really known for their food there. It's just okay. south of Houston. They're probably getting a little bit of rain right now, but <laughs> it'll be over in a couple of days. Yeah. And so they're, um, you know, hop in the Nissan truck and this is Galveston. Yeah. So th they actually didn't get hit too, too hard, but NASA is down there. Yeah. You can take a tour of the NASA um, structure and, and where they do everything. And this is in League City. You can take boat rides there on the ocean. This is a beautiful resort there in League City. And the room was about as big as the studio. It was huge. Wow. <laughs> it was Texas so big. Is massive. Too. It There's really so is. Many different places. Yes. They say yeah. everything's yeah. bigger there. That's so. right. And this, I was making my own candle at the chandlery. That's cool. And League City is the first city, technically, in Texas that was kind of formed at the coast. Okay. And um, this is a little coffee house. This is actually the visitor center turned into a coffee house. And everybody loves a good brewery. Yes. So you got This kid had started brewing when he was 16, and he's like almost 30 now, and probably some of the best beer I've ever had. Wow. <laughs> it's an early age to start brewing. Beer. That's what I thought too, <laughs> but hey, it's Texas, you know? You know, to each their own. <laughs> yeah, it's 16. Uh, yeah. I don't know how you know quality at that it's, point, but it's you, Texas. It's, it's Texas. Texas, right? You get there eventually. It's fine. Yeah. That's Very what he cool. Said. Yeah. Yes, definitely, yes. definitely. And I think next up we have Yellowstone, if okay, I'm not great. mistaken. Yeah, that's Either fine. Yellowstone or Indiana. I can't remember which. Oh, yeah, this is Yellowstone. So, okay. Yellowstone is my absolute favorite place. And, um, the Buffalo Bill Center of the West is it's five museums in one. They have a whole gun museum. They have his history there. This is my favorite hotel, the Chamberlain Inn with their old fashions. That's me taking the Jeep up into Bear Tooth. Look, Look at that. that. This was in June. <gasps> and there's still that much snow there. It is Gosh, just no amazing up there. Cool. Obviously, you know, the bison. I mean, you're just going to see so much wildlife there. That was an actual grizzly bear we saw across the water. Those bison are massive. Huge. Oh. Yes. They're, they're so much bigger than you think. <laughs> yes. And that's me doing some four wheeling. That's probably why it's my favorite place. And some water rapids. There's just so much to do in Cody Yellowstone. Yeah. The, the hotels, that's Old Town. They have the rodeo all summer long. So every night you can catch the rodeo there. Wow. It's just that's a really great cool. place, a perfect place to road trip. Was to. that your first rodeo? No. <laughs> I'm in Texas. Okay. No way is that my first rodeo. I have a feeling it was. <laughs> but great question. That's right. <laughs> Definitely. I love that. So yes. what's next? So next, I think we might have uh, Indiana. Well, that's more of a Cody Yellowstone there. There's a Chamberlain. But um, next, I think we might have Indiana. Okay. Whereabouts? So, where, yes. where are you thinking? So, you um, well, Elkhart, Indiana yeah. was my first sure. stop. I was born in South Bend. Nice. And kind of grew up in the whole Elkhart area because my dad worked there. So it was kind of neat to go back and check out the history. That's our, look, the Hilton did, it's called the Hotel Elkhart for the dogs. It's oh, so pet friendly they there. They their own little couch. Oh, yeah. They did their own little Leave beds your and everything. Hospitality even for the pups. Oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's called the Pampered Pup. And but they have the Hall of Fame, the Heroes Hall of Fame, and it's got actual memorabilia from the movies, the cool. Avengers, the DC, my husband's favorite thing, the Hulk, the RV Museum, of course, because it's Elkhart, right? Wow. You gotta have that. And then um, we, this right here is the Ruth Mirror. So I actually have a little family history there. My grandma did the drapes for the Beardsley Museum and the Ruth Mirror. Oh, wow. And my aunt, who lives here, who's actually here with me today, and my grandma did the little upholstery on the chairs. Wow. So that was kind of neat to go back and see. But they've really revitalized the river walk. They have market days. And uh, you can go kayaking down the river, walk canoeing, and it's very pet. That that town is very pet friendly. Adina, yeah. there is there's no judgment at all in this <laughs> statement that I'm about to make, but I'm seeing so many themes of beer and eating. Yeah, when you go. I like, 
do. You yeah. like to have a good time. I do. Get away. I do a lot of brews and brews, like coffee houses and breweries and distilleries, oh, yeah. and why not? And of course, Indy here, right? There was me kissing the bricks. Kiss the bricks. <laughs> you have to do. You've got to do that when yeah. you come here. But the zoo is phenomenal here, and we yeah. just went to the art museum yesterday, Newfield. Isn't it great? My yeah. gosh, I think we spent like five hours there. Yeah. And did the beer garden. It was amazing yeah. there. Yeah. I know. So Indy is a lot. I want to come back and spend more time here. I mean, I'm I here know. a lot, but yeah. I never really get out and see how yeah. much there is here to do. And sometimes you forget to be a tourist in your own city. Exactly. That's right. You remember, yeah. oh, wait a second, I yeah. should check all these things out. Exactly. How can people follow along with you, Adina? Uh, CreativeLifestyles.tv okay. or TravelLifeWithAdina.com. Awesome. Well, and of course, all the social media. Yeah, yeah. give her a follow right there <laughs> on the screen. Thanks so much, Adina. We Thank you. Yes. Coming up next, we're gathering around the table with our foodie friend, Jolene Ketzenberger. She always has the latest on the dining scene, which means you might find your new favorite restaurant this week. We'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. Let's get away from it all. We'll travel around from town to town. We're